spend a few minutes going over the gas laws exercise. Um, filling in the blanks. So with this, before I start, I'm gonna put a couple of notes on my sheet here. First one being P1 times V1 over T1 equals two times V2 over T2, a gas laws formula. The other one I'm gonna put is changing Rankin to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Rankin. Rankin, Fahrenheit plus 460, Fahrenheit, Rankin, minus 460. Then I can go to solving because doing these, all of my units have to be in absolute values. Not gauge, absolute, not Fahrenheit, Rankin. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So that's the first thing I have to sort out. So this first one, I guess the other formula I can put down is PSI A equals SIG plus, I'm just going to say 15. And we're going to stick with that for this just to make things easier. So 50 PSIG, 65. This stays the same, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Five sixty. This stays the same. Eighty plus four sixty by forty. Now I can put all of that into my formula. So P one. I have these three. I have those two. So I have. 65 times 20 over 560 equals, I'm just gonna zoom this in a little bit just to make this a little bit clear. I did lose my calculator doing that, but um, hey. And I'm still going to my calculator here again. Equals P2 times 50 over 540. I can start solving 65 times 20. 1300. 516 equals P2 times 50 over 540. I can complete that. 1300 divided by 560. 2.32. There's a few different ways I can do this. I can cross. Let's do it this way. So I'm going to go down now. 2.32 equals P2 times 50 over 540. Math, 2.32 times 540 divided by 50 equals P2. 2.32 times I 40 
I'm just going to do that 1253, but I'm just going to do that again, 2.32 times 540. 1252.8 divided by 50 equals 25.05. So P2 equals 25. E S I A. First one's done. Okay. The second one's a little bit easier because I don't have to do all of them. The PSI is there. I just have to change the two. Fahrenheit, 75, 465, 5, 35, 130, 590. Okay, how I put them in the formula. P1, 50 times 2,000 over 535, 50 times V2 over 590, start solving, 50 times 2,000. Oops. One hundred thousand divided by five thirty five equals fifty times V two over five ninety. I'm going to finish this over here. So 100,000 divided by 535, 186.9. Cross 186.9. Five ninety divided by fifty equals V two. One eight six point nine times five ninety divided by fifty. Two thousand two hundred and five point four. So two two zero five point four feet cubic feet. Oops, there. I need to get that in the picture. I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. Third one. I think I got all this scrap paper. Oh, a few changes to go here yet. So I have PSIA here. I have PSIA there, but I still got Fahrenheit. So actually, I see my T's are the same. So I can actually take them out of the formula. I don't even have to convert them. I can, but I don't have to. 
you know, 460 plus 80, 540, but I don't have to because of this formula. These are the same, so I just take them out and I end up with a formula that says 40 times 30 equals Fifty times v two. So oh, very straightforward. I just take this over, take the fifty, move it down here, move it away from here. Do the math. Forty times thirty. Okay. Put this in here just so that you can see it. Forty times thirty, twelve hundred divided by fifty, twenty-four. Oh, is that right? 40, 50, 24. I believe that's correct. Clear that, but out of the way, next one down. Let's see if I can reduce this. Paper here, number four. Anything the same on this one? Uh, looks like everything's different. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. No conversions to do. All I have to do is put the numbers in. So P1 times 20 over 500 equals 200 times 12 over. 600. Let's solve this. 200 times 12 divided by 600, four. So, P1 times 20 over 500 equals four. So P1 equals four times 500 over 20. One hundred. So in this blank, 100 PSIA. Let me get another piece of scrap here. We're moving right along here. All right. So gas laws, number five. Anything need to change? Good, 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 good. Just gonna throw it in. I see anything the same, everything's different. So I need to use the full formula. So 100 times 10 over 600 equals 100 times 25 over T2. Let's solve this. One hundred times ten divided by six hundred equals one point six seven equals one hundred times twenty five over T two. That's gonna, I'm gonna flip these around. T2 
equals 100 times 25 over 1.67 math rate. 100 times 25 divided by 1.67. Fourteen ninety seven degrees are so you can do these a little bit different, right? There's different ways you can do this. I'm doing it sort of a long way just to sort of spread it out a little bit more and it's a little bit easier to follow. Um, so the number might end up being slightly different based on how far do you go here as well. Do I take that or can we make, can we go 1.7? I can do a number of different things with that. Do, 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 do. Let's go here. Number six. I'll clear my calculator. So anything I need to change? Looks like all the units are decent. I have 80, I've got Rankin, PSIA, Rankin, everything's good. They can plug it in with the formula, 80 times V1 over 400 equals. 150 times 100 over 500. I'm going to solve for that side. So 80 times V1 over 400 equals. Let's do the 150 times 100 divided by 500 equals 30. So now I can do V1 equals 30 times 400 over 80. Oops, 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 30 times 400 divided by 80. 150. So this V1 equals 150 cubic feet. And next down. Looks like all our numbers are good again. So we're just going back to doing math. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in this formula again. So 150 times 100 over T1 equals 300 times 50 over 700. All right, so let's leave this side. 150, you know, you can actually solve this, right? 150 times 100 is 15,000 over T1 equals. So all I did was I did that and left the bottom. And then we'll solve for this side here. So, 300 times 50 divided by 700, 21.4. Now, T1 equals 15,000 divided by 
0.4. If you're not seeing what we're doing there with the formulas, then you might have to go talk to your math teacher. So 15,000 divided by 700.9 or 701, we could just say 701. So that's what I did there. It's just made the 701. And again, the, the accuracy all depends on like how far do I go with the decimals there? I could make this 21. They can make that 21.4. I forget what the value of 21.4042. The further I go, that number might change a little bit. And last, we're going to get down to the last one there. Right. Good, good. No changes to making any of the values. Okay, I'm going to put them in the formula P1, V1, T1, P2, P, V2, T2. So 80. Times 500 over, I don't have that value, T1 equals 160 times 100 over 240. Solving, so I can go a little bit further here. 80 times 500 is, what's that, 40,000? I believe 80 times 500, 40,000 over T1 equals, solve this, 160, it's 160. So we're 160 times 100 divided by 240, 66.7. And again, you know, you just really want to get too carried away, but the accuracy depends on how far you go. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to say T1 equals 40,000. Divided by 66.7 equals 40 divided by 66.7 equals 600. All right, and that is it for the gas laws worksheet. All of the answers sorted out. Hope that helps.